and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some ephemeral mid-range. Uh, we are going to be playing a bigger version of ephemeral. Like we've we've played like some really low to the ground ephemeral decks before, some real aggressive ones. We're going to go bigger here. Um, really have this top end that we're that we're uh, featuring with, of course, Hecarim and Rekindler. Y'all know about those two cards, how good those are together. But I also just really, really like Thresh, and I think Thresh is a really underrated um, champion. And so we're going to be going with Thresh instead of Zed. I know Zed uh, brings an ephemeral creature alongside with it, but I really just want to go with Thresh, because Thresh also is great with Rekindler. Um, and, uh, you know, it's it's like if, he, if we can flip Thresh ever it's amazing like once you flip thresh then the first time you attack with the flipped thresh you summon another attacking champion from your decker hand so that means you're probably going to be summoning hecarim attacking which is awesome of course and then and um if you do get to flip your your thresh like that and it dies then you can rekindle or bring back the thresh um you know attack bring you know have it attack have it bring hecarim you know hecarim attacks brings its ephemerals and then those ephemerals can bring shark chariots. It's cra You can do some crazy stuff with that. So that's what we're going to be kind of doing. Um, there, we we decided. So we played the the stock prankster burn deck um, that's kind of popular right now, and it was really unimpressive. And we went zero and five, as you can tell. Um, so instead of so we decided instead of playing the stock ephemeral mid range deck that people are playing. Right now, I made some changes first. Not really just me. I mean, everybody in chat helped too. Uh, so we made we made some changes, and uh, and you know are adding um, and uh, trying trying this version out. Um, yeah, Grim. I would. Yeah, if you're short by one thresh, play a Zed. Yep. Yep. Definitely play a Zed. Um, and we're gonna try it out. Basically, it had Curse Keeper. If you if you watch the prankster burn video, you know that I am not a fan of Curse Keeper, and it was not it's just not something that I think is very good. It also has uh, the one drop that I don't really love either. This Oblivious Islander, um, we're kind of replacing those with Shark Chariots, replacing Vile Offering with Black Spear, uh, replacing Zed with Thresh. Like th those are the main changes there. All right, but let's let's give it a try. Let's see how we do. We're gonna go play some matches over in ranked. And let's get started. All right, Fiora, Garen, Dominaria. <laughs> Wrong word, Demacia. Too many. Do you, all right, so do we want to keep Hecarim? We're getting rid of these two, of course. Um, do I want to just keep Hecarim in hand? Is it too good to mulligan, or do I just mulligan it away? I probably just mulligan it away. Maybe I should just got rid of Skitter or two. Um. Man, Skitter is so good. <laughs> yeah, I guess probably not Dominaria. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. I wish I I really wish I would not have ditched the hecker I'm right about now. Oh, 
heart and sword for Demacia. Head to the base. I demand. Aha! The wicked must eat up, friend. So we could really use drawing Thresh or Hecarim, but we need to draw our champions. Come on, champion. Nope. Yeah, or Deathmark, yeah. Yeah, Deathmark would have been a good one, too. There's the Hecarim, but... It's kind of after we wasted the whole turn playing... This thing. No. Get out of here, Garen. Stop trying to detain my stuff. And there's Deathmark. <clears throat> Hecarim's pretty good. Yeah, Will of Ionia looking nice. Can you stomach this? That's all right. By my honor, you must die. Black Spear is so good. And so I basically can save the Scourge Death Mark to try to take it, take out the Garen. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. Oh, right, well, that's gonna kill my Thresh. That was pretty good. Kind of. I guess I played into that a little bit. Well, I guess they may kill Hecarim. Yeah, we'll kill Hecarim. That's fine. No one goes hungry. Such naivete. So the Thresh should flip after this. So this brings four attack three other other attackers with it, so that's attacking with four things. And so that's five, six. Yeah, we can mark then. We can double. We can double mark. As well.
And then whenever Thresh transforms, should be bringing in a Hecarim. I guess Thresh could bring in a Thrash. So we'll let him keep Garen. Correct, yeah. That's correct, Thunderwonk. Yeah, like those three dots over there, that's our, our mana that carried over. All right, we gotta work our way back up after that unfortunate 05. All right, Skitter, Skitter, Mark, Spear. Again, Garen Fiora, this time with Noxus. There we go. Basically, I think Deathmark is pretty important against the uh, Fiora deck. I probably should have mulliganed the Black Spear also. Our deck's pretty good against anything not Ionia. Okay. Um... I could see saying I could see how you'd think the the scourges are underwhelming. I mean, ideally, I would just pass, and then they play Fiora, and then I play Scourge Deathmark. If I just pass and they do nothing, I just pass and they do nothing, that's rough. Darn, they did nothing. That's rough. Remember why we fight. I don't know why you fight. I'm not doing anything over here. Yeah, I went for just a moment. Definitely went for high upside. Ugh. With that pa turn pass, the shark was just the safer, more consistent play. Traded two for two and gained five life. Everything's better with company. Says you. Hey, yeah, we have we have more death marks. For justice. For Demacia. Both feet ahead. He is the first of many. 
any Not bad, we got a barrier out of their hand. Not bad. Hey, resolute. Victory requires a sharp blade. Hope they don't have another single combat. Show them the might of your mind. This is bad for me to play in this Dark Water Scourge. They should definitely just be taking the Dark Water Scourge. This is just bad play by me. I have it all, but I walked in with both of those death marks. I probably could have played those death marks better, probably. See if they have See if they have a repost to kill my Hecarim. That'd be that'd be unfortunate. <laughs> of course they do. Alright, they they get this one. Yeah, Rev Loki, that prankster burn deck was not good. Gonna try to give Garen a death mark again. This is still me taking lethal, like I'm still dead. Like they just you know, I'm at you know, they get to attack this turn, I'm at ten, they have twelve power. The shark couldn't block anyway. Alright, so I, w I walked into 
some huge blowouts there. Learned. I should have just played the prankster thing like on turn three. I should have just gotten rid of their three two. Um, yeah. Played that game incorrectly, but learned a lot. No, that, I mean that wasn't really a, a bad luck game. That was me not playing as well as I could have. The Mark of the Owls is a really good draw. Do not deny me. You cannot escape it. We're not exactly two for winning ourselves because the assassin already replaced itself. Probably just playing another Shark Chariot. The order rewards its faithful. I will say it's too late for you. Master. <laughs> yeah, Darth Valor. I, I love how how much uh, combat matters in this game. Definitely do. Makes it very skill intensive. Yeah, how do the sharks work? Yeah, basically, so they're they're the two mana three ones. As soon as they're ephemeral, so as soon as they strike, they die. So basically, they're they're dead right now. They're in a an imaginary dead zone. But whenever we attack with another ephemeral creature, whether that's Hecarim bringing these ephemerals attacking, or like a dark water scourge, anything like that, whenever we talk, whenever we attack with an ephemeral creature, then. Um, then they'll just come back and they'll be just attacking as well. It's just like how Hecarim brings the three twos attacking, same kind of thing. All right, so I couldn't I couldn't sack my Hecarim to draw two because the trample we would have we would have died with the trample damage. Um, if I go Rekindler Hecarim, We're attacking with six things, but we kind of have to have lethal because if it's not, then we just die in the air. We each died, then found I think we can try it. We're basically all in. Like the other option was just play double scourge attack for like 10 lifelink. Okay. Um, well. Here we go. And whatever the Scourge blocks, we will sack to gain life. Or we'll sack to, to draw so they don't gain life. So this is them taking 13. Where are you going?
Hey, Alec, thanks for the cheers. The nice little Corgo. Aw. No. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I was but basically the the problem with my line is they had the three mana left. They could play a three three and kill me. I didn't want to say anything though. Wow. They didn't just go straight to attacks. Alright, well we get to play our own life linker. To block with. No! No, 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 no! No... Alright, so yeah, so my line of bring back Hecarim and attack, you know, didn't pan out. Looks like I needed to I needed just to play my two five five life linkers and attack with them instead. <laughs> uh very close. No, I've never played League of Legends. Playing against the Elusives. So we can attack with the Shark Chariot. You know, like, we can play the Shark Chariot to attack with that. Scourge, we can attack with Scourge, which will bring the Chariot back. And then after attacks, we can do the whole Death Mark thing. The Scourge Death Mark stuff, really, it... All of our opponents have been, you know, very ready for it. And it's been, um, it hasn't, it hasn't worked out at all. It's been a big hindrance to us. We haven't been able to pull it off. They're still just passing. They must have like mulliganed a bunch and then just got stuck with a whole, you know, a whole slew of expensive spells. Everyone here? Go. A dangerous lands. Hmm. There is nowhere to hide. The advantage is mine. I wish Will of Ionia was in a card. I would love to just be able to dawn, dawn and dusk this thrash. I need one more mana to do that.
Let me make some even bigger threshes. Glad we have this deny backup. If if I would not be doing this if I did not have deny backup. Come on. Well, it could have gone better. But overall, I think we just traded even on cards. Yeah, we did get the knives out of their hand. It's very true. Such naivete. So it's gonna be four units dying. Let's take eight. A lot of damage to take. <laughs> Man, we have such a huge upside play of Dawn and Dusk on this thing, and then Death Mark on one of our other Threshes. It's such a great play for us. But yeah, if they have Will of Ionia or Deny, we're completely blown out. I'm going to go for the such a good play that's game-winning. Even though I could play it, say, you know, more safe and just play some more Shadow Assassins. So of course they don't want to play creatures because if they play creatures we just we fight them right so they're just passing. Um, I'm gonna just pass also, so they just waste all this mana so they don't get to play creatures there. My thresh is still level up, and so now if they want to play elusive creature we have time. You know we get to respond by playing elusive creatures. They didn't don't get to. They don't just get to. Oh man, then Rekindler bringing back Thresh? Yeah, play in Legends of Runeterra for now. Like this game more. This game is very balanced, very, uh, very enjoyable to play. All right, so this is.
we're gonna just be creating like way too many way too many things um Says you. Yeah, if we attack with both Thresh, we'll get two Hecarims, yes. But the Hecarim, you know, like, basically, we're going to have too many things. We have a Shark that's dead also. So attacking with a Thresh brings along, what, five creatures? It brings along Hecarim, the two... It brings along four creatures. But then... Thresh itself attacks. Full speed ahead. I can bounce Jewel Protector. Then they get to replay Jewel Protector. I'll just let Hecarim die. Exactly. That's that's exactly what I'm thinking there. Sakara says, yeah, I'm going to save the Will of Ionia for the thing that's buffed by Jewel Protector. Because I've basically the thing that I'm most scared of right now is them having a big life linker. And yeah, basically that. That's that's the thing that I'm most scared of right now. Just bounce it right now. One candle for every soul. Can I even play this? No. That's a good draw. The order rewards its faith. A dangerous lair. Just make sure it resolves first. Man, if we attack, so like the Thresh brings Thresh is what five creatures attacking itself. So it's like five, ten. But then this one isn't, so 5, 10, and then 11, 12, 13, 14. We would be able to attack with 14 creatures next turn. But obviously you can't really have 14 creatures attack. You only get 6. All right, GG's, 2 and 2. Yeah, yeah, I uh. Yeah, I would have Demacia Midrange as my favorite deck right now. And if I could only play one deck, that's the deck I'd be playing. Yeah. So that's what I would recommend. Thanks, Boxy GGs. All right, let's see. Let's go with all right. So, Hecarim Elise. Um.
Ooh, skitter is good. Please no lease, please no lease. No, I didn't change any cards in the deck. No. From two days ago. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of champions. So of course I am hoping I'm hoping they play something on their turn here and let me play Skitter. <laughs> Dang, another rekindler. Ugh. There we go, good. Come closer. I don't bite. Yeah, yeah, the upside down champion board. Yeah, it it is kind of it does look weird a little bit. Like you know, it's just a, a regular board upside down. It's not too bad, but yeah, like the upside down champion Smooth board. As Ooh. What is, yeah, what does Thresh even have? The box deal three D to each enemy that was summoned this round. Wow, that skitter was pretty great. Ugh, that skitter was pretty great. Love it. That lets me use my Black Spear. Kill their Elise. I don't know why I didn't attack with a Shadow Assassin. That was, that was just one point that I should have got. There's really no reason not to attack with that. My little part in something big. Such naivete. Naivete. Take six. Don't want to sacrifice Shadow Assassin for, for three life. I just pass? Hmm. The thing is, they're just going to play another Hecarim, aren't they? I kill that Hecarim, they play another. That is absolutely what's going to happen.
So I assume I sacrificed that, then Thresh should level up. Master. And not die to this thing. So that Thresh levels up, so it just levels up this other Thresh. That's cool. Yeah, that, that line, I saw that line coming at the beginning of the turn. That line is why I did not play the Shark Chariot. I thought that maybe we'd need to do something with that sacrifice and uh, level up a Thresh instant speed. They play something I'm playing Darkwater Scourge. As a blocker. I'm probably just going to cast this. The box. Deal three damage to each enemy that was summoned this round. You know, kill like these other two things. Kill this Spider Queen Elise. Alright, have a good night, Blade. But again, we have like way too many attackers. Here's new Hecarim. Or... Double Miss Call, okay. That was pretty good. Eh, not really. They got a bunch of two and three power stuff. All right, so I guess I just attack with both of them. It's just, it's too many attackers. Don't you hate that? Yeah, and like those, those Hecarims aren't going anywhere. Like we we get to keep those Hecarims in play. But don't you hate how you just have way too many creatures? <laughs> Hecarim's so silly. <laughs> yeah, those cards are kind of broken. I'm telling you, people are people still sleep on Thresh. Thresh is pretty insane. Like, Zed's good and all, but Thresh just puts Hecarim's attacking into play and has Challenger in his removal. Yep, back to top 500. That 05 was rough. We were, we were in the top 200 before that 05. Oh, no. Opponent's deck also really good. They're also playing Hecarim Thresh. They're playing some Freljord cards. <clears throat> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> if 
You're welcome, Thunderwunk. Uh, well, I guess I would get to switch it there. Thank you. So, yeah, you... So you're trying the, this game out then, Thunderwunk? Ooh, Catalyst of Aeons, getting this stuff faster. That's cool. Because, yeah, I could definitely see moving away from Ionia. Because, yeah, like, the, this whole Darkwater Scourge Deathmark stuff has, has not been very good. So yeah, I could absolutely see playing a different splash color. I mean, really, the whole the whole thing is Hecarim, Thresh, Rekindler. Those three are just real powerful. And so, however you do it, Yeah, that is true. It's probably difficult to, to follow the game when you see all the cards the first time. Absolutely, because like the cards don't even have the name at the top. I, I wish they had the name at the top. So like when it's like this, you could at least see the name. If you're watching on your PC though, you should have like the the deck list over here where you can see like a, a six mana card. Um, you know, see like it's a six mana card with the art look like that, and then you can kind of scroll over and you can mouse over it and you can see what's going on with it. It, it's him. Oh. I have been looking for yeah. you. But that's just like just like magic, you know, if you if you've never played magic and you just try watching a game of magic, you're not you're not gonna know what's going on really. Um it's gonna be really hard to follow kind of thing. But yeah. Um I did, yeah, I did play through the, all the tutorials in a YouTube video. If you want to watch me playing through the tutorials. They just passed. I'm going to make them wait. I mean, that's not even like that good of an attack for me. I'm going to make them waste all that mana. It's really not even a good attack anyway. Like, I, I can do two damage in the air. Like, that's, that's my great attack. I do not take orders. Uh, let's see. I have so many cards. Like twice as many cards as they do. <laughs> This is probably a, a poor line for me, honestly. My my plan is to play the Scourge on defense and then use the Thresh the box. But honestly, we could take a hit. Yeah, that was going to be a poor line from me. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, you're just watching. I got you. Yeah, Hecarim's just crazy. Basically, Hecarim, whenever you attack with Hecarim, you get two of these three twos that are just also attacking. It's a big part of this, of like... How is all this stuff just suddenly happening? It's because of this Hecarim card, which is crazy. And whenever Thresh levels up, you put another attacking champion in, into play so that the Thresh puts the Hecarim into play. Wouldn't be too surprised if they have Ruination. No, I would not say this game is like Hearthstone. 
I also dislike Hearthstone, but I really like this game. So this takes like some a couple good aspects of Hearthstone, but it, it plays more like magic. It kind of combines the good aspects of both those games. Yeah, it's much more similar to magic. Now this this game's it's real it's very skill intensive. Um and real balanced. You know, like how the turns are just shared, you're both playing stuff back and forth, exactly when to play stuff, when to attack, how to, you know, everything. It's Um, like that's gonna happen. My thresh level's up. I'm gonna kill their Hecarim, but I kind of assuming they have another one in hand. Ooh. Better start going after my Thresh. Yuck. That's what I'm trying to be doing. did my thing. You cannot escape. That denies good. It's, it's him. Oh. I have been been looking looking for you. You. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I agree with you. Riot does a great job making the UIs and clients and everything. It's one reason why I'm, I'm really expecting this game to, especially once once it gets on mobile, once they start making another set or two, it, I really think this is going to take off. I think I only have the one deny in here, but it has been awesome. It's made me want more denies. So basically, this is just going to fill up my my battlefield. This Hecarim brings these things. The sharks come back whenever you attack with other ephemerals. I want to go home. Yeah, that's really good. But we're not done yet. 
We got another, we can bring back another Thresh with Rekindler, and Thresh will bring another Hecarim into play. Oh gosh, we get Dawn and Dusk. We get Dawn and Dusk Rekindlers that bring back Threshes. I mean, we just have, just have so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, our one attacker brings all these others. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine with me. How do I want to do it? I got this route. Yeah, Prankster Burn did not feel like a very good deck. It was it was really underpowered. It had too many cards that weren't very good. Spawn this real quick. Yeah, this deck is good. Um, how long would it take to craft it? Um, not exactly sure, honestly, but not like super long. Like the reward system in this game is awesome. It's the best reward system I've ever seen. One thing though is the next, um, the next balance patch is on the seventeenth, and people are kind of expecting Hecarim to get some kind of. to get some kind of balance. GG's. Oh, that one doesn't, oh, that, that doesn't bring back anything anymore? It's not the first time this attacks? I didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, very, very generous for free to play. I, you can, you can play very easily without without spending any money at all and build a collection. It takes, you know, take a little time, but hmm. This is really bad if they have removal instant speed removal. Cool. Oh, there's no more in the deck. That's right. Oh, that's right. It, it only pulls from deck or hand, and there's no more in the deck to pull. Gotcha. Well, I should have attacked with the Rekindler. Could have had another four points of damage in. Which would have been lethal.
but I didn't. Now if they have Ruination, I'm definitely not playing this. That makes sense. That makes sense. Team killed that focus on try to try to play try to play your champion spells more when you have Thresh. So you can shuffle the more champions back into the deck. That definitely makes sense. All right. 4 and 2. Still got there. Yeah, playing Thresh instead of Zed. I like Thresh a lot. You know, attack with Thresh, bring in Hecarim. <laughs> yeah, Thresh is very underrated. All right, so this is same kind of deck, but they have Elise as well. So with the attack token on turn two, which is nice with his chariot. Right. Go swing low, sweet chariot. Still makes sense to make the trade. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, I need these threshes to do some work. That's good. I'm thinking the Shadow Assassin will be able to block, you know, like the Wraith Crawler or something like that um, soon anyway. Make that? No. Because here, like, Mark of the Isles is pretty profitable. Huh. 
pretty good. That is pretty good. Be one trample. You cannot escape. Of course, I could have sacked my 2 2 and drawn 2, but I just put the damage on the Wraith Crawler instead. This is gonna be close. I can I can just block with the dark water scourge. Um and then we stay alive at one, but if they have Mark of the Isles, we die. Or I can block with this too. Um you know, obviously we have to do this. This threshes the box. Yeah, we, we have to use that just to stay alive. And then this still just puts us down to one. So it's... Ideally, I would not block with this, but I feel like I guess we I guess we have to. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, we're going to have eight mana next turn. We're going to have Rekindle it plus Wild Will of Ionia. Good, okay. Um... Good. I'm glad I saved this two mana still and never and didn't use it on this glimpse because this two mana is going to come important to have ten mana for the next turn. I guess maybe I'm supposed to block this thing. Uh, I don't think it makes any difference. No, you're good. You're good, Vivian. Vivian, you're good. Uh, anyway, it kind of feels like one of the fresh offerings would be really good in this deck because the ephemerals die so often. What's what's the fresh offering? What is that card? There's Mark of the Owl. One candle for every soul. So that brings back Thresh. Thresh should bring back Hecarim. GG. Three mana slow spell, summon a 6-6 six, six of three creatures. If, if you had three allies, die this turn. So while that card would be good in the late game, like after you're attacking with Hecarim and stuff, that's usually like when you're already doing okay. 
I'd be more concerned about how that card would be not really help out against aggro. That's what I'd be really concerned about. Thanks, Amir. All right, so we got a platinum chest. Let's see what we get. We got some commons. We got three. Uh, this down here shows we have like three um, pages of rewards. So we got we got some commons. What else? Three commons, two rares. I want to build. I'm gonna build a deck around Minotaur Reckoner. Because this card is such a bomb in expedition mode that it's got to be pretty good in constructed also. So I'm gonna be building a Minotaur Reckoner deck. All right, then I'm gonna. I'm trying to get to the, just get to this champion wild card, and then we're gonna change regions. Even though I guess I'm real close to finishing off the region, but I'll still change after that. Alright. Five and two, we're gonna be playing three more games with this deck before switching. Timo Ezreal. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is it is very beginner friendly, mana traders. Yes, it is very beginner friendly. Um I kinda recommend just just uh going through the tutorial. Let's see. But yes, yeah, it's, it's extremely beginner friendly. Um I think I'm actually just I'm just gonna keep these. No, you're not limited in the amount of experience you can earn per day. I think they started with that, but you know, people don't like that. So as long as you're playing like you get you get experience from playing like the AI, but like that is limited. And you get experience from playing person versus person, but that is also limited. But playing matches against other players and like ranked and stuff is not limited. You get you eventually just get a hundred for each win. Because I'm pretty sure it's not limited. Um, it is not on Steam. No, it's free to download. You j I just just Google search Legends of Runeterra because it's it's still in the open beta, but it's not on Steam. As far as I know, I was just introduced to stream to Steam yesterday. I just downloaded Steam yesterday. There are there are like some good articles that kind of help explain um, XP and stuff like that. Again, just kind of Google searching that I that I saw. I don't I don't have like a specific link to any of them right now. Um, I got basically just a, fr a friend of mine here. Somebody in the chat all the time. Boot uh, just one you know one just kind of play games and stuff and just has been. Uh, telling me to get Steam for a couple of months now, and so I finally did. And and we played some game yesterday. It was like Lost something that was pretty fun. Um, let's see if I can figure out what it was. Nope, can't figure out what it was. It was some like side scrolly type thing. Yeah, you're gonna drain one. That's fine. All right, so it's my attack step. Wait, they're in a least deck? No, they're not in a least deck. Okay. Uh, so we can mark if, like, they keep on doing what damage here. Like, the damage does not regenerate. So, like, now my thresh is a three-three. Um, we can pump it back up though, give it plus three, plus three, and ephemeral, and then remove the ephemeral any time that we want to do that. It looks like that may be their play here. Looks like they're going to use a death mark and remove ephemeral. No, maybe not. Just let that thing die. Save 
Yeah, uh... Um... Let me get you the link there, Mana Traders. Here we go. After Wizard, thanks for gifting out the sub. So that was the problem with playing Hecarim, is that I didn't have like that that thing available to protect my Thresh anymore. But that's alright, we had we had that to sacrifice. Yeah, I have Helix. Um, start playing this new game, Legends of Runeterra. It is amazing. Alright, we get another Thresh. They keep trying to kill my creatures one damage at a time. Ezreal is at 5 out of 8 for leveling up. One damage at a time. <laughs> I know it's it's so rough. Yeah, this mana system's awesome. It's like this is the mana system, of course, over here. You know, like we're we're gaining one mana each turn. You don't have to worry about getting mana screwed. It's great. Uh, but then there's you all. It's also just skill intensive because you have the three spaces that you could, if you don't spend your mana, you can save it up for only spells, not for creatures. Um, and so then that's that brings an interesting aspect to the game of like, should I, you know, should you. Um, Going down to six. Honestly, I probably should have played this Scourge. Six is actually pretty low against a burn deck like this. Okay, I should have played that Scourge. Actually, I'm just going to bounce it. That's what I'm going to do. So I don't take damage. I have played. I played a little Hearthstone, um, especially like when it first came out. I played it more than. But yeah, I fully expect this game to have tournaments and everything. It's still like in the open open beta phase. Um, they said the the first half. The estimate uh, for it to be out of open beta and be fully released is the first half of 2020. So, you know, that's within the next couple of months. And at that point, it's supposed to be re released on mobile as well. This is going to be a lot of attackers. So the Hecarim brings two attackers. The Thresh brings a Hecarim that brings two attackers. You can only have six creatures attacking, though. But still, that's a lot of damage. Thanks, Helix. Okay, so we have another Darkwater Scourge. All right, so we're playing we're playing another ephemeral deck, but like the tradition, pro we're probably playing against the traditional ephemeral deck. Um, I don't want those two cards. Ugh. Death Mark. Well, we got the Green Glade Duo Mark of the Isles Death Mark combo. I've been super impressed with the Death Marks in our deck. TBH. Yeah, that card's not good.
<laughs> All right, good night, say moi. All right, uh, we we spent two cards to deal with their one card that had. Ooh. I guess I I do have the green glade duo that can just block that if they attack in. So they're gonna need to play a spell to keep theirs alive. Mark of the Isles. All right, so different options. Let's go with let's go with glimpse beyond and just sack ours and draw two. So the Shark Chariot's just going to die, but uh, whenever we attack with another Ephemeral, it'll come back. And I'm planning on playing Thresh this turn, Hecarim the next turn. Honestly, like I could play my own Hecarim, but maybe I should just be bouncing their Hecarim. Probably should just do that and not let them attack with it. All right, so this Hecarim is going to bring four attackers with it. We have two Sharks and the two Spectral Riders. So it's going to bring four attackers. They're all ephemeral, so they'll all die. So that's four triggers for Thresh. So Thresh just needs one more trigger to transform. I think Thresh is more powerful than Zed. And throughout throughout all these games that we've been playing, Thresh has just routinely been amazing. It's not difficult to get Thresh to flip at all, and Thresh we've just been attacking with Threshes that bring Hecarims um, whenever it's attacking, so it, we just get extra extra Hecarims. Um, what do I do with Thresh? Take this. I guess I only have the one mana, so they they may kill my Thresh. That would be a bummer. Yeah, our curve's already fine. Like we already we already have we already have three three drops. We have. Skitter, Darkwater Scourge, and um, the uh, the Shadow Assassin. So we already have like you already we already have a good amount of three drops. So I haven't missed it on the curve. Like it actually kind of works better having a five drop. The shark's been pretty good. Shark's been good. Something to play on turn two. All right, we're gonna play one more.
I love it. They got six champions. I love it. I've always, oh, man. That's something that I'm going to be doing eventually here is making a six champion deck. I guess we could like keep this combo to have on turn three. I guess it'd be turn four, technically. Don't get in my way. They're already back to me. In our fantasy baseball draft, everybody is. Everybody's just auto drafting. Uh, they have three mana still. I'm not sure how they're going to stop this, but I'm going to feel bad when they do. It's like single combat, but that still kills their Lucian. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So it's basically like so you get you you have uh, six champ. You can play a total of six champions in your deck, um, which are, they're basically like the mythics. You can play six copies of uh, six total copies, and so you, every card you can play, you can play three of instead of four of. In Magic, you play three of because they're just forty card decks, so you get three of each card. And so usually you take two champions and you play three of three of those two champions because like those are like the two that you, that you kind of build around. Usually you kind of build around them, and so they just they just have one of each. So they just have <laughs> one of all of these. So they have one copy of each. It's it's not not what you usually see, but it's pretty cool. Demacia. Is it on me? All right, trades are good for threat. I, of course, don't really mind trading away my Hecarim um, and a card because we have the Rekindlers. They're going to bring back Hecarims. Oh, I guess I... No, oh, then this would have killed the Protégé. All right, well, I, I did that wrong. I should have attacked the other order. I should have had the Hecarim first and then the Thresh. Because then, basically, I could have just had this Lauren Protégé dead. It was free. All right, go ahead, attack again. You got your other attack, a gem. This time, I want Thresh to attack first, bring back the Sekarim. All 
Ohio. We went eight and two. Big time winning streak to finish that out also. Oh, we're at the 101. We're ranked 101 now. All right, so there we go. So there's Ephemeral Midrange. Definitely really liked uh, this uh, this build. I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad we, we made this build. The Deny was really good. Will of Ionia was pretty good too. Um, Dawn and Dusk seems unnecessary. Like the Dawn and Dusk should probably just be another deny. Um, yeah, basically, basically Dawn and Dusk is just unnecessary. Um, yeah, in the region, I guess. So there's three different regions. So 101 in North America. And, um... <laughs> yeah, well, I started I started about a month ago now. Yeah, the ELO is really vo volatile. Yeah, like early, just a little while ago we were like right before we we started this, we were at like number like 600 and then we went, you know, 8 and 2 and now we're at 100. Something like that. Uh but anyway, uh I could definitely see not playing Ionia and playing a different different um region. I don't love this whole Dark Water Scourge Deathmark thing. Like, it's cute. It's really cute. But more and more, you know, it's... it's More and more people are ready for it. And it's unreliable. But it, it worked out just fine. Green Glade Duo, Shadow Assassin's good. Especially Shadow Assassin. Really like this card. This card's just very, very strong. Replacing itself and being a good body. Um... Yeah, I think maybe just replace Dawn and Dusk with another Deny. Because, um, like, like you just don't really have... Like, Dawn and Dusk can get blown out, and... I don't know, like, we did play... We did have, like, some good plays with Dawn and Dusk, I guess. I guess we did, you know, like, Dawn and Dusk a Thresh, and so then we had three Thresh, they were leveled up. We um, death marked the two that we got also, and so that we had just had like three <laughs> leveled up Threshes. That was pretty insane. Yeah, Dawn and Dusk is you win if the enemy, if the opponent is a control deck and not Ionia. What? But like, what control deck that's not Ionia are you worried about beating? The you need Dawn and Dusk. I can see Dawn and Dusk kind of help you win, like, some mirror matches. But, like, their Ionia... Mirror matches, I guess, are Ionia also. Yeah, you have Thresh and Rekindler to refill the board anyway. Exactly. That's why I kind of feel like this. Dawn and Dusk is, is overkill. And that having just, like, a Deny would be better. I think that's what I'd recommend going forward. Get another one of those. Deny was, was frequently really good. Yep, exactly. We have, like, Thresh, Hecarim, Rekindler is awesome late game already. Um, but yeah, Deny can, you know, stop a, you know, stop a Ruination or, you know, whatever. It stops, it stops stuff. Um, but yeah, everything else is pretty good. I like the, I like the Chariots. Um, yeah, this is just a good solid deck. All right, so that's Ephemeral Midrange. Good 8-2 and two there. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, for those of y'all newer to the channel, the, here's a link to the YouTube where I put up all of the replays. Um, yeah, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck if you're trying it out yourself. Let me know how it's going for you. Uh, but that's it here for Ephemeral Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.